What, what? Maybe I'll just do like the old, uh, the Pearl Jam, you know, like. Do like an acoustic set. So I'm up here talking about my first tattoo and what I should have done. So uh, let me give you a little story about it. I was 21 years old. I wanted something really cool, something that was easy to hide. Uh, go big or go home. Uh, I wanted to be able to show it off when it wasn't unhidden. Uh, no cartoon characters. You know, everyone loves Tasmanian Devil with a pool stick. Uh, so here are some bad examples of first tattoos. Pretty classic, right? If you're going to get something with letters, make sure they spell it right. So the first thing you need to think about is you need to consider the placement. Obviously, these guys thought their forehead was the best place to place the tattoo on. Just saying. So the, sec the second thing you want to think about is you want to consider the shop itself. So, you know, do you want some back alley place in Detroit or do you want some nice feng shui in downtown San Francisco? Leave Detroit, alone. <laughs> Detroit, man. Eight mile style, right, Tanner? Woo -woo. So you also want to consider the artist when you're getting a tattoo. I mean, I'm sure Mr. Cool as Ice does some really sick ink, but then again, I would rather be sitting underneath Kat Von D getting something done or doing something or, you know, whatever. So my first tattoo, right? Lower tramp stamp. All the guys in jail loved it, let me tell you that. I don't know why I got traded for smokes all the time, but it was, it was cool. So what did I get for my first tattoo? I went with something classic, kind of mod, retro, rock, rockabilly, a man's ruin. And uh, it kind of signifies like everything that uh, can lead a man astray in life. So women, alcohol, gambling. Went with a, a piston because, you know, every, everyone knows like pistons totally leave, lead men astray in life. Um, a pair of dice. Uh, the ace from the deck of cards, and some chick who really isn't that fat. So really important, okay, when you get your tattoo, they give you an aftercare card. And it's very important that you read all the instructions because it will help you through a lot of pain and suffering. Okay, so important. Here's what not to use, okay? Bag balm. That stuff is for nipples of cows, okay, when they get dry. Neosporin, perfect. I don't plan on doing any cow milking. Vaseline, wrong choice. Dirty hands, forget it. The next thing you need to know is the fucking thing is going to itch like crazy, all right? You think mosquito bites itch? No, tenfold, these fucking things itch like crazy. Do you scratch it? Absolutely not, it's part of the healing process. So, okay, disclaimer right here, not my actual tattoo. Mine was like bloody and pussy and had some discharge coming from it. It was pretty gnarly looking, right? Um, I talked to my tattoo artist and I'm like, what did I do wrong? And he's like, pretty much everything. So I went to go see Dr. One Shot in the Ass. And uh, pretty much it involved me going like this, pulling my drawers down and him sticking it to me pretty hard. Wow. Gotta love tetanus shots, right? When you're 21 years old. He asked you, so what are you here for? Ah, for a tattoo, I got infected, that was awesome. So what should I have used? Well, I should have obviously washed my hands with soap and water before I scratched the hell out of it. And they do recommend A&D ointment or Aquaphor. So, basically time heals all wounds. Well, so do tetanus shots, okay? <laughs> that, that, not actually my tattoo. It would have looked a lot better had I not fucked with it. <laughs> so, you want a tattoo and you want to save a little bit of cash, right? So go in and ask for the slowest day of the week and the slowest time of the day. Um, also ask if there's any apprentices, make sure you look at their portfolios and try and do everything in one sitting if you can, if the tattoo will allow it. It's very important to take care of the artist. Um, kind of use the dinner rule tip, 15% if it's okay, 20% if it's good, and 25% if it's fucking not infected and really cool, right? <laughs> so you got a tattoo, you took care of it, you want to get it removed. You're a pussy, basically, all right? Stick with it, right? You, you had a baby, you can't get rid of the baby, you know? So what the? <laughs> In Detroit, you can. So 
basically, here's some summary that's very important. So do consider the placement, do consider the shop, the artist. Um, don't scratch the fucker, just leave it alone. Don't pick it and flick it. Use lube, use protection, because like it's the time heals all wounds, but so do tetanus shots. If you want to find me on Twitter, I am John R. Rossi. The other John Rossi is in New York, and he's kind of a lame-o, so thanks.